Hey everyone, it's Nate the Vinyl Guide and I'm doing a vinyl unboxing video here from some records I bought from AudiophileUSA.com. AudiophileUSA.com is an online record shop that specializes only in mint and near mint records. None of this VG, VG minus plus, whatever. Um, th that gets so subjective and so ugly, especially when you, you think you're ordering a record quality of one level and it arrives and it's something that's way different than you thought. So uh, rarely those are happy surprises, but here at AudiophileUSA.com, they just deal in tippy top quality records. Some of them are still sealed. And uh, I tell you, I, I always tell people go to a record shop, give your local record shop your money, support them. But some people are outside of the US and they want USA records. Some people live in the US but are not close to a record shop. So go to audiophileusa.com. You can uh, pick up whatever records you need there in great shape. Now, these boxes were actually shipped to me inside another box. My wife opened them up and uh, we weren't sure what was inside the, or she wasn't sure what was inside the box and these were in it. So it's actually kind of nice when they ship these records, these boxes were inside another box. So again, just to make sure they arrive safe. These guys tend to pack, possibly overpack, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So let's take a look at these records. Let's see what we got, shall we? Well, they've wrapped them quite nicely. Three records, oh, let's look at it here. You've got some bubble wrap on the outside, bubble wrap on the outside here, so a little bit of a sandwich. Two records, divider, like another little packy thing, uh, and then another two records, so this is good. Ugh. Oh yes, all right. Minutemen, three-way tie for last on SST. Great album. Oh yes. <laughs> There's D. Boone, Mike Watt, and George Hurley. And oh, yes, that's right. A lot of these SST records came with the, um, the flyers inside. So uh, on audiophileusa.com, they will tell you that, which is great. This is just, this is how, how they used to do, you know mail order back in the day. You'd buy one record and then you'd get a chance to send in a few bucks and get a bunch of others. So um, it's always nice to have these as part of the set. And again, look at how beautiful a condition this record is. Nice spine, nice back. And let's check out the record itself. Oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. We had uh, Spot, the engineer who produced this record on the show. Actually, did he do this record? Um, I think so. He may have been. Anyway, I think it was episode 198 of The Vinyl Guide. And uh, oh, I may be mistaken. Spot may not have done this one. Um, anyway, to be determined. There are some funny writings in the run out groove. This period's most popular courtroom drama. <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and put this one away. Beautiful shape. What is that? 1985, quickly, do the math. What's that, 35 years, something like that? 35 year old record in beautiful shape. Um, this is a repress, don't get all crazy. If this was in gorgeous shape, uh, original pressing of this would be four or $5,000. Now it looks like this one here, this is still sealed. It looks like this may have been a promo, one that was handed out somewhere. Someone got this as a gift and then sold it in a, uh, probably a sale of some sort and the folks at audiophileusa.com got it. So I think I can't believe what I, I can't remember what I bought this for. It wasn't expensive though. I, this is one of those records to where eh, it's a repress, throw it in the box. I'm in Sydney, you know, adding a few of these things on, in the box aren't a great expense. Oh yes, Holiday Soul Party, Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. This is a green vinyl, I believe. This was a pressing that was done before 
Miss Sharon Jones sadly passed away. Um, great record album, and it's still sealed. That's right. See? Still sealed. I don't know how they find these records that are just still sealed, but that's... This is actually a more recent issue. Not as big of a surprise on this one. But on some of these other ones, yeah, pretty amazing. All right, the Autistics, Saved by Technology. Still in original shrink wrap from 1984. Of course, this is falling off. This barely counts as in original shrink. And yes, there we go. Original insert for the Autistics. Not the most politically correct record, uh, but you know, that's part of history, isn't it? Gotta take the bad with the good. Now look at that, beautiful shape. 1985, 1984, so yeah. Well done, Audio File USA. All right, is that the final one of this box? Quite possibly, yes. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside, then we're gonna do this other box here. I'll open this, smoke them if you got them. All right, here we go again. Bubble wrap sandwich. Bubble wrap, bubble wrap. Looks like four records in here. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. This is cool. Now, ACDC, if you want blood, promo copy. Amazing. Amazing. Now, this is the USA press. This is not the Australian press. I've got the original Australian press as well. Um, but these American presses of ACDC are really, really good, especially the ones from the early 80s that had Bob Ludwig doing the mastering. Well, late 70s, early 80s. That's yeah, right, I bought two of these. Now check this out. This is a promo copy. I'm glad you got it. Fantastic live album. Bit of dust there. And yeah, that's hard to say that ain't mint. Let me slide that back in. And yeah, here we go. Look at this beautiful copy of this. Promo copy, not for sale. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> um I'm not selling this, but I just bought it. I wonder if any record company has ever said, hey, it's our property, give it back. Um, this one is the same pressing. It's not a promo, but check this out. Still sealed, still sealed from 1978. Okay, the shrink wrap is coming a little bit off. Um, over time, the shrink wrap kind of shrinks it's a notch mark here but yeah still sealed from 1978 so again i don't know how the audiophile usa team finds these still sealed these treasure troves these boxes these old closed record shops People used to own a record shop and then closed it in the 80s and never liquidated the inventory and they find it, but they find it. Um, Metallica, Death Magnetic. Now, I gotta tell you, I enjoy early Metallica. I've seen Metallica twice, both times with Cliff Burton. I've never seen him with another bass player. Um, I happen to think that um, Metallica's early albums are their best. Death Magnetic, in my opinion, is really the only album after, say, uh, Master of Puppets that is really does it for me, okay? Uh, and this is produced by Rick Rubin. Um, this was Metallica trying to get back to their core, and, uh, and I think they succeeded. I think this was a really good album. 
I still enjoy listening to it. Um, but then, of course, they went and ruined it with Lulu and whatever, you know, a couple other releases that I haven't really listened to much or enjoyed. So um, I do like Death Magnetic. Now, the interesting thing about this album is that this came out, what year, 2008. And at a time when they had this thing called the Loudness Wars. And of course, the Loudness Wars are still going on. But the CD version, the digital versions of this album um, were compressed so hard that they were distorting. And a lot of people, they liked the music of Death Magnetic, but they didn't like the listening experience. And uh, I can understand why. Uh, the vinyl version escaped that fate. The vinyl version has appropriate mastering that is not distorting digitally. And so if you want to hear this album and enjoy it in a way that I think it was intended to, find it on vinyl. A lot of people get the mixes that are, I think, that were part of the Guitar Hero soundtrack, which you could download those, and uh, they sound way better than the CD version of digital versions. But here, um, get the vinyl version of Death Magnetic. If you're a Metallica fan, you'll want to pick this up because this is probably the purest way to be able to hear this album the way it was intended. It was intended. Blah, blah, blah. Um, finally, I guess this is the last one of the box. Charles Bradley, Black Velvet. This is still sealed. I like Charles Bradley a lot. So sorry we lost him. I was privileged enough to be able to see him twice in concert. And uh, I got some great photos of him as well. I mean, we were right up next to the stage. What an entertainer. What a good guy. Good soul. And uh, this is his final album. And I uh, can't wait to, uh, to play this one as well. So there we go. AudiophileUSA.com. Man, impressive. Sealed stuff. Rare stuff. Promo stuff. Controversial stuff. And just gorgeous, important, meaningful music. AudiophileUSA.com. There we go. Enjoy. Go to AudiophileUSA.com. Give these folks your attention, your money. Um, you know, they really are nice. Uh, they find some great stuff. And you can go up there and hopefully find your holy grail as well. All right. For the vinyl guide, this is Nate. Thanks, everyone. Chat soon. Cheerio.